Hello, 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 my crafty peeps, and welcome to another day or episode of Hump Day Handmade, which is the last Wednesday of the month. Of course, this is the one for October. We got two more to go. Two more to go. Okay, so today my um handmade is a little bit different, and I actually came about this one by accident. So I was using my scoreboard for some project, whatever reason, who knows what I was doing. And this thing right here accidentally popped open somehow. Somehow this popped open. <laughs> he was like, I'm having a hard time. How did it accidentally? Anyway, it did. And I remembered, well, that's a mishap. These came with this scoreboard. Never used them. And on there I got my little, uh, oh, y'all can't see. Oh, I ain't even in camera. Let me get up here. This little thing right here, you know how you get these little, um, it came off there, so I'm to, there we go. These little things that come with the scoreboard. I I remember seeing these when I first got it. Never used it, of course, because I got, you know, a cut and die, silhouette, whatever. The case may be. But for individuals who don't have that, who don't have all the dies and boxes and stuff like that, or the silhouette that cuts stuff, you can use these little strips, is what I'm gonna call them. And so this one makes a five by seven gate fold cord, and I'm probably gonna try to make that one for you. And it, and it tells you on here, and there's something on the other side too, which is, this is a 5 by 7 folded card, A7 card. And then we have a 6 um, inch square gatefold card. Let's try that one, because that's just a little different than the regular 5 by 7 So I'm going to try to do that. So I was going, and I mean, there's quite a few that comes in here. So I mean, it's not like one or two. What is this? A 6 by 6 by 3 box. So you can make boxes, cards. This is a two and a half by three and a half by one and a half box. Um, it's another gay fold card. Boxes, boxes, folded card. So, I mean, if you have this, check them out. That way you can, um, there's a two by two box. Maybe I'll try that one too. Okay, so let me, so don't forget about these. And when I say, you know, so you don't need to have all those cutting dies, or all that kind of good stuff to be able to, um, you know, make this stuff. So, and what happens is you lift this little glass piece up, and now I'm trying to do it again. It ain't gonna work. So, I'm not. But it will actually go in the, behind this um this little clear piece right here. You can stick it on, you know, the side. But of course, it'll probably move around. What's on the back of this? This is the gatefold cards, and this is a folded card. So let's do the gatefold. So I'm gonna put it in here because the measurements is right on the um. On the top of the thing, if I can get that in there. Of course, let me get on camera. Everything does not want to work, so I'm gonna take that back out. Cause I'm not about to fool with this thing. I ain't about to fool with it. I'm just gonna set it up here. And so it tells you from start to finish. So, and this, and so you notice a 12 by 12, right? 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So it's give you the measurements on how to cut. 12 by 12 to get this so i'm going to use this one just because it's um this but even though this says cut i'm going to get my exacto knife because of course it's not a cutter or a trimmer but just so i can demonstrate but of course you would do this on your on your trimmer so it says start number one it says cut so i will go to the seven and i am going this is cut all right but like I say, I would normally do this on my trimmer. Cut. <laughs> Cut this. And it will work. So this is just a demo. Okay? So it says cut. Then I'm going to go over to two. Turn 90 degrees and cut. Okay? So I will turn it 90 degrees. Now I'm here. And then it says cut. Turn my little message thing off of it. And so then I will cut here at 10. So in all actuality, I would need a 10 by 7 piece of paper, all right? And so what you can do that, or over here say minimum paper size 7 by 10. So you just cut your 7 by 10 piece of paper or do like I did and make a, go through that whole little dramatic thing. Or minimum size of paper, 7 by 10. It says this right here. So I could have just cut a 7 by 10 piece of paper, set it on here, and I could have skipped 1 and 2. Okay, but anyway, now I'm going to 3. 
three says score. So now I'm going to get my score, and I'm scoring here. So I'm going to score. Where is it? Score at. Make sure this is good on here. And I'm scoring. So it's on scoring at seven and a half. And then four, which is scoring here. So I'm going to score here. Right? So then I would take this and fold on those score lines. And of course, I probably didn't do it right. So it's better to probably have that thing inside of there. Who knows what I'm doing here. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. Who knows? I need to cut this little part off. Because I didn't cut it right with my X-Acto knife. Let's get that over there. But it will make you a 5x7 folded gay card. I don't know where I messed up on this as far as my scoring go. But somehow I did, good folks. Somehow I did. Because I ain't even 10, first of all. It's probably where I messed up. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, this is 10 over here. So who knows what I'm doing. But anyway, <laughs> that's what that's good for. Let's try this again. Disregard that first one. I'm going to get this off of there. And, let's, and then I'm going to try this uh, this 2 by 2 box. Minimum paper size, 6 by 6 right? So this I'm going to cut. I'm going to get my trimmer. So I'm going to cut my score line. And I'm going to cut my 6 by 6 And this is just some papers that I always use to, you know, when I'm trying to figure out some of my silhouette or, you know, just like cut sheets. I have a whole stack of it over there. So I got from wherever, wherever. Okay. So now I got my six by six piece of paper. Move that fail out the way. I'm going to put this up here. Okay. So here we go. Let's see what it says do on this one. One, cut. Got that. Two, turn and cut. So I did one and two, which next was gave me the six by six, right? So now I'm going to get on, be on three. Three says score and turn 90 degrees. And repeat four times. Okay, so I'm cutting on this too. So there's one, two, three, four. Now I know our a seasoned crafters, whatever we want to call ourselves. You know, we're just gonna get and we're gonna score. We ain't gotta use this. But for people who knew and want to make sure that this stuff is good, keep this in mind. I mean, everybody ain't gonna use it, and everybody don't need it. I can do that myself on the scoring board. Blah 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 blah. That's true. But some of us, you know, maybe can't do that. So, and this is for those people. Okay. So now, okay, so I did that. And then number four, I don't even know if y'all can see. Matter of fact, let me bring this up here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So see, this whole thing is 12. And it says I'm making, let me see if I make sure I'm in camera over here. The two by two by two box. Minimum page size is a six by six. So I'll go over here. And remember, like I said, this is assuming you have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So you're going to cut, and I'm guessing on here is going to be a six. Number two, turn 90 degrees and cut again. Okay, I did that. I'm going to go over here to three, and it says score and turn 90 degrees. Repeat four times. So I did that. And then on four, it says cut. And it's showing me the little dotted lines where I'm going to cut, you know, on those one, four sides. And number five says refer to the booklet. I don't know where the booklet at. But we're just going to go. So I'm going to get my little scissors here and try to see what I got here because I can't see. But, I mean, at this point, we know how to put a box together. So I'm going to cut here, here, these little chevron lines is not helping me. And I ain't got my glasses on. So anyway, I got that. So this is it right here. So if I was to refer to the booklet, I'm not sure. It'll probably tell me, you know, the folds. On these lines, but I mean, some of this stuff is planned to. We know we're trying to make a box. They told you what to do. I think we can figure it out from this point. If not, if you do have this and you have the book, then you can't, you know, go from there. Or you could probably go online because this is a, uh, I don't know what. There is no name. I'm not sure who this is. Oh, here we go. Right here. This is a uh, Martha Stewart. So then you have this. So then, of course, you would just put these two sides together right here. And there are your two by two box. It don't give you a lid or anything, but you have this. You know what this is good for? Because this is, I'm just currently in the process of trying to figure out, or I can say figure out in the process of, of doing this, 
is an advent calendar. So there you go. Your two by two boxes for your advent calendars. Go ahead on do it. You can get four out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Boop, boop, boop. That's just a little tidbit for you. Go ahead on that little extra piece. So now you have your handmade box. And again, I mean, and if nothing else, it's a good starting point. So say, okay, now you, you know, you learned how to do this. Now you know all you got to do is cut, cut a six by six piece of paper. Score it at two and four. Two, four, whatever, whatever. And then cut those and get your box. So now you know. If you want to do bigger, you can do a nine by nine. You can do, that way you're going to get a three by three. Blah, 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 blah. Right? So that's that bit. Now, so that was the first thing as far as handmade. And then I got fancy. And I turned it over and, rem and remembered that they had this little plate thing. So they did hold this up and gave us ways to. And, you know, and we just don't use them. I ain't going to say we. I don't use them. But they give us ways to make, you know, boxes and cards and stuff. And then there's also this little plate thing that I've never used. And this is going to help you make some envelopes for dimensional cards. Which is great. And I said it because, you know, usually we use the envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. And, we, you know, we have it right here. Of course, you know, that's going to give you more um, um, size and stuff like that. But I mean, your basic card... So they have a three by, so it says his envelope and card sizes. So if you square, three by three, you got a two and one eighth by three and a half. Uh, let's see, it was like the four and a quarter by five and a half, which is your A2 card. So it tells you what to do on here. So I'm just going to make one real quick, and of course I'm not ready. So let's see what size paper I need here. Um, Let me see, let me see. To make envelope for this crease, this neck, and that's telling us something there. Just tell me what size paper I need. So I am going to do the three by three square. So I'm gonna need five and three fourths by five and three fourths, and that is just the first one in here. So I still got this six by six. So I'm gonna cut this down to five and three fourths by five and three fourths, and then I'm going to follow the rest of the directions on there. Okay, so I got my five and three fourths by five and three fourths. Okay, and then. Put this on here, over here in this corner, like so. And so this is um, a line, right? So I'm putting this. I'm guessing like this, y'all. I'm guessing because this is how I see this piece of paper. I'm just going off this diagram right here. So I'm putting it across here like this, and then it says a line. I'm scoring at two and a half. So here go my two. Here go my two and a half. I'm going to. Score two and a half, All right? And then my B and so I'm, my B lines is also at two and a half, and my B lines is across this way. So I'm thinking everything is two and a half. I'm guessing I've never used this, so we're gonna see what happens here. And so I'm gonna turn it because they both the same. I guess being that I am making a square, I should have did one of the other ones. Maybe I'll do one of the other ones next. Just to get a feel for it, because right now this is easy just because I'm doing two and a half, two and a half, right? So then I would fold on those score lines. And this right here is just a regular envelope, right? I'm probably supposed to be cutting something. So this is why it's good to have a booklet. I think I'm supposed to, and don't say cut these little squares out there. To make. Envelopes for non-dimensional cards is crease the length and width of the starting paper size by one eighth and score normally. Not sure what they mean by that. You know, I don't know. It's probably why we don't use it. <laughs> but anyway, if I had to guess, which I am doing here, now of course if this ain't what we're supposed to do, we're gonna figure this out real quick, like well, I ain't gonna say we gonna do anything. I'm gonna figure this out real quick, like what well, like it might work. Cut those little angles out that I scored on. Like I said, maybe if I had the booklet, it would have said this. So then if I do this, and now I got my envelope. So yeah, you got to cut those little sides out. And like I said, the booklet might have told me that, but I don't have it. So there's going to be an envelope. I think I actually want it this way. And so there we have it. Those scored, and we have an envelope. So this should be a, uh, what's this, a, a three by three square. Who knows what I'm doing? Oh, I didn't, this is, you know, you got to cut all that score off of there or it'd be all uneven. So I got the other side, that little score line, that's what's 
hindering my process. Probably was the same thing up here. Didn't cut. And that's one thing about score lines. You got to make sure you cut the whole thing out of there. So, you know, like, like go down that, um, well, you know, well, hopefully, you know, like the little side so you can make sure you cut all that score line out of there. Okay, so now let's try it. So I'll do this, do this, and bring this up there, and then that, now see? That's because I had to get the rest of that little score line out of there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. My three by three envelope. So I want to try one of these other ones because, like I said, that was easier, and it's just going to seem like it's going to make it better. And I'm sure it's a tutorial on online somewhere saying how to do this. So let's do one of these odd ones where we got two different numbers. So I'm going to do the two and one eighth and three and a half, and I need a five and a half by five and a half piece of paper. And I just want to try to do one that's not, you know, square. So let me get my five and a half by five and a half. Right here, right here. Alrighty. Let me get a sup of my coffee. Alrighty. I'm gonna put this back up against here and then see what it say do next. So now I'm doing a two two and one eighth by three and a half. So line A, I'm doing it two. And this is line A. So I'm gonna do this one at two. So then I guess you know once you score, you're going to now I'm on, I'm switching it, so I'm on line B. And line B is two and a half. So I'm gonna go here. So I guess I'm back at line A, which is two. And then that last one, which is my B again, and it's two and a half. And this is what I'm guessing, y'all. I'm guessing this is how it works. Hopefully, I am correct. So now this is what I got. So I'm going to do like the same one I did before. I'm going to feel for those little notches and cut those out. Because we saw before, we don't need little corners where the uh, score lines meet on the sides. And I can't really see, so hopefully I took out all the score. If not, I will see it here momentarily when I, um, so let's do this on those score lines. So close those up and there we have it. So I can see down here, I didn't do the whole score line. That off here real quick because I'm just throwing this away. I'm not keeping it, so it don't make a difference. It don't make a difference whether it's all even or not because it's for demonstration of purposes. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put those two little ones in and that big one, and then there go my was just two and one eighth by three and a half little pocket. And of course, you know, people probably like to uh cut this little piece off so it'll be like that. That was uneven. But anyway, that was my hump day handmade to come and I guess remind individuals. Because like I say, this has been around for a long time. I haven't seen anybody really use it. I've never used it, truthfully. So if you do have this scoring board, I'm not sure if the other ones have it. Because I do have another scoring board, but my daughter have it at her house. Will she be um, doing stuff for me? Cutting and scoring and stuff. And so um, she has the other one, so I'm not sure if it has this on there or not. But if you get the Martha Stewart one, it goes going to, um, and just, you know, if you're going to go purchase one, make sure it has this little thing at the top that you can, um, so you can get different, like I said, it's a lot of stuff on here. Boxes, gay folk cards, um, and they're double-sided. So, you know, just um, square folded card. Four by four by four box. We did the two by two. We got an eight by nine. Gay fold card. So I mean it's a lot here to work with. A three inch square folded cord. You got a seven by nine by one and a half inch box. So that's pretty large. And this just is the template guy. So it tells you right here. It's probably gonna be the one on top. It tells you, you know, I'm saying, of course, if you have the book, and it says use these templates as quick project guides. Find the start to begin, then follow steps in order, starting with words and symbols. Q, when to cut, score, rotate, and flip the paper. So as you can see here, it says score here, cut here, rotate paper. But it does refer to the instruction booklet, which I do not have. And it, I mean, I might somewhere, who knows. But anyway, that's my hump day handmade. 
letting you know you can make things handmade with just your school board. So all you need is a school board and a trimmer. You don't have to necessarily have the um the uh that goes right in there. That we are members keep your envelope punch. I mean, you can look online, of course, and it shows you how to make you know different cards. But you just put it on here, score, do your little cards and stuff like that, and you're good to go. So, you know, boxes, cards, right there. Envelopes, dimensional um envelopes and stuff like that right here on your scoreboard. So that is my hand mm, hump day handmade. Make sure you check out all the ladies down below and go see what awesome tips and things they got for you this month. And like I said before, we got two more months to go. So if there's anything in particular that you want to see, make sure you let us know or one of the ladies, oh, I can say let us know, let me know or let one of the other ladies know by leaving a comment on your, uh, on the channel so we can try to get that in the next two months or whatever. Like I said, we got two more months of the Hump Day Handmade, which is the last Wednesday of every month. All right, my crafty peeps, make sure you go check out the lovely ladies down below and see what they have created for us today. And I will see you in my next video, and hopefully I will see you next month for the next video of the Hump Day Handmade. All right.